Okay. Okay. Chat, this is Master Chef season two finale. This is not the finale, but there's two episodes. Watch, watch, all that. I don't give a shit. And it was nearly impossible to make the grade. You annihilated it. Ben Starr is gone. I could cry. Holy crap. Giuseppe is gone. Ben's time in the Master Chef kitchen came to an end. Imagine being a man you plan the wrong Tonight, way do you like the your The final leader? four battle it out and come face to face with the world's toughest critics. And their true colors are revealed. Should have made a better dish than that. I'm pissed. At her, I'm pissed at myself. Um, He's making himself look like an idiot. Christian's going down. Four cooks remain to battle it out. Chat, Aaron is gone, right? Culinary is he? At stake, a quarter of a Derek is gone. Dollars. Surprisingly, and the title of Master Chef. Okay, let me just get my coffee. Tonight, in Los Angeles, California, the search for America's next Master Chef has come down to the final four. For this critical stage of the competition, their latest challenge is coming to them. Come through, please. It's like running a 5K. You know, that last quarter mile when you come around the bend. You're okay, boys, here it comes. It and okay. I'm ready to sprint into the finish line. There's four of us left. The journey has been intense, but... I'm here now. Oh, the haircut there. I really want to shine through to get to the finals. Food is my life. I daydream about my future and having a food truck in Chicago. Mod, 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 mod. Time out and permaban, and we'll be on the cross yeah. ban list for spoilers. And be ready for M only mode if things get too heavy. And for M only mode, if they, I don't give a shit. It is an old show, okay? You're not gonna ruin people's enjoyment for things. You're not gonna come here. I'm not gonna harbor people in, in this chat. They're gonna they're coming here for the only reason to make other people have a bad time. I'm not, I'm not gonna stand for that shit. That shit is fucking lame as fuck. You're a moron. And we, nobody will give a fuck about your enjoy for things if you spend your time in chat trying to remove enjoyment from others. You have no value committed to somebody else if you ruin everybody else's around you. You're a cuck lord. You will be permabanned and cross banned. Everywhere on the internet! Yeah. Go and having it financed by Master Chef. God, such a dream. Having grown up the way I grew up and having to like fight for custody of my son and fight to not do drugs, I feel like I've been fighting my whole life. And now I'm fighting for the title of Master Chef. Oh, he cut wow. his hair because he dropped the hair Welcome in a soup or in, in the meal today. This is where we normally leave the comfort of the Master Chef kitchen and sort of disappear to a stunning location. But not today. Today, we're bringing the challenge home here. MasterChef is more than just an American competition. It is a global phenomenon. Home huh? cooks just like you are battling out in versions of MasterChef in nearly 30 countries around the world. Wait, what? From Germany to New Zealand. <laughs> From Greece to India. What the fuck? In France, it's the number one show every time it airs. Master Chef Arishon Shel Israel. In Israel, it was the highest rated non sports show of the decade. It's a smash hit in India where over 20 million people tuned into the finale. Wow. We think that you from the American Master Chef yeah, yeah, yeah. are the best host. So, so is, 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 it, is, it, is it pretty. Uh, is, is it rational to assume that he, he doesn't really have any control over the franchise? Gordon, that is? ...cooks in the world. We want to show you off. <laughs> because today we've invited MasterChef judges oh. from three different countries to come to America just to taste your dishes. <laughs> what an unbelievable experience. It's a huge honor. I mean, I was fortunate to go to Miss USA and represent my state. And to represent America, there's no greater honor. There really isn't. You'll be split in two teams of two, and you'll make one dish, six portions. We ask you to leave nothing behind. You need okay. to feed six of us. Got it? Yes. Yes, yes. Joe. We filled your pantry with the best meat and produce that America has to offer. It's a wonderful bounty for our international judges. Susie. Sure. Yes, Chef. As the individual with the best dish in last night's elimination test. You have an unbelievable advantage. You what is that? get to pick your teammate. 
As a result, you'll also be picking your opponents. So think carefully. Wait, what? Essentially, Tizzy's picking both Pick teams. Pick Adriana. And I don't want to be on her team. I don't see her listening to me. I got to be with someone a little more balanced. I really feel my cooking style and my thought processes oh, she's gonna aren't throw. the same as hers. I don't want to. Wait a minute, she's gonna throw. <laughs> Susie knows that I'm a strong competitor and I'm one of the best here. But she hates Christian, though. She hates Christian. I am the best here. But I want to say something really important. There will be a losing team. And one of you will be leaving Master Chef. The person that I'm giving this red apron to is somebody that I truly respect in the kitchen, that I think will work well with me on a team, but somebody that I really think that I can beat in the end. Adrian. Adrian. Is that? It's Adrian. 100% Adrian. Christian. What? Wow. Susie picked me because she knows that whatever team I'm on, I'm gonna win. I anticipate taking Jennifer and Adrian. Wait, down. wait, wait, but wait! She hates him. Wait, she hates him, and she sees she sees him as a. Wait, she wait, wait, no, this is BS. I'm pretty sure she she's trying to get him in, but she wants to get carried. At the same time, I, I feel like they're better chefs than Susie. Susie overthinks things, and she doesn't move quick enough for, for my liking. Christian, because be otherwise she would just beat him against her. And then she, she, she would have 50-50 that, 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 that he's out. To be on Susie's team. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to work well together. Okay. I think we'll be able to come up with something to really wow the judges. This is a disaster. Adrian's flubbed up a lot of times, and Jennifer's just in because she's got a really good smile. Please take your stations. I'm completely happy with this matchup. Oh, Christian's, no. you know, talking the big game all the time, and then Susie's misses know-it-all. I really want to kick some ass. Yeah, Red he's team, you have 90 minutes to create the most inspired dish you've ever cooked so far. Make MasterChef America proud. Your 90 minutes start from now. Okay, six Both portions. teams must conceptualize, prepare, and plate an original dish impressive enough to wow the palates of not three, but six MasterChef judges. When you look at that pantry, the list of ingredients in there, when you think of America, you think of the lamb and the yeah. beef it produces, it's second mm -hmm. to none. It's very hard to match it anywhere in the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. Look at it. Yep. They're Done. Beautiful. We have the creme de la creme of what America has to offer. Adrian is from California. He knows spot proms very well. Then we okay. see the lobster, so we figure we can marry both coasts and put together an amazing dish. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. So let's do an Always Thanksgiving dish. Just... I could definitely do the duck very easily, and that goes <laughs> seriously. The duck. And then we could do like the sweet potatoes. We could even this do. Does, this doesn't sound gourmet or fancy enough. To yeah, me. it's going to be totally fancy and gourmet. We only have 90 minutes. The other team's already cooking, and Christian and I are literally standing in the pantry discussing the concept of our dish. Oh, I just feel like I mean, everybody eats Thanksgiving once a year. We need to decide what we're doing quickly. I'm really thinking Thanksgiving. I think it's going to be upscale. It's going to be awesome. What's going to be so upscale about it? The duck and duck sauce. I'm not fully comfortable with the whole Thanksgiving idea, but I end up pushing my gut feelings aside because we're both incredible wait, cooks, wait, 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 wait. so we should be able to really put something great together. Duck! Hey, hey, hey. She's going to she's gonna fuck it up. It's, it's GG. Maybe we're orange duck wraps? Orange duck wraps? Roasted corn and Maine lobster combination. Then on top of that, we're going to put our spot prawns and then just a little bit of red pepper coulis with some blood orange in there. Can I share this board with you? Of course. So the blue team, what do we think about the proteins? They orange put? duck is I mean, great. jumps out. Spot prawns, the beautiful lobsters. Yeah. So it's got that kind of vibrance to it. I love the idea of the blood orange. I love the fact that they're showcasing from the west coast east to the coast, east west coast. coast. Exactly. Yeah. The question is, is it going to be a seafood salad? Is it too simple to impress the judges? It's risky. Yeah, it's called a canon of the orange. Yeah, We're making a Thanksgiving concept. Panzer duck breast with a sweet potato mash, caramelized fennel, raspberry gastrique, mushrooms, and an apple chuck. You gotta trim all that fat yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? Fretting. I mean, they're doing a Thanksgiving style dish. Duck is a very noble ingredient, as we know. A lot of great restaurants mm -hmm. of the world cut their teeth on duck preparation. So uh, I, I don't appreciate know about that. the ambition of trying to present the duck dish properly. Just over 40 minutes left. Duck is not easy, though. Duck is not easy at all, though. 
So, what do you think of the red team's dish? Not a good idea. Silly. Honestly, as an American, I'm embarrassed that they would turn that out for some of the international chefs that we're going to be serving today and judges. I can tell you that I think, technically, uh, Christian and I are way more advanced than the other team. I think that the lobster that they're doing, um, it's something that they've actually done before. So I'm really surprised that they're doing that again. Yep. I mean, that's kind of smart, though, isn't it, Susie? Hey, Susie. Hey, Susie. That's kind of smart, though, isn't it? They thought about it. Motherfucker. 30 no shit. minutes left. Bring that magic. These judges have traveled around the world Jesus. for finesse, creativity, and something stunning. I'm making a raspberry gastrique. I'm doing the fennel. I'm roasting corn. We need sauce. Christian. Susie's not really doing much. She's making mushrooms. You don't want to pile up on each other? What yeah. happens with mushrooms is they release water. I'm yeah. trying to tell her you can't pile all the mushrooms together in the pan, so of course they don't taste good. I don't want to use these. I'm going to start them over again. And she's throwing them away. Mm -hmm. Christian's not happy. Well, right. I think he let the captain take the lead, and he's being the team player, but I think his emotions coming through. Yeah. He can't That's what he always does, though. Ever since episode one, he definitely does, though. And acting respectful, because if the poop hits the fan, he's going to say, mm -hmm. I was Susie's and idea. He barely you trusts know, the leadership, though. Under the bus. The shrimp? Yes. Don't throw those in at all until the very last He's one. soft throws when he does something that he doesn't yeah. want to do. Okay. Blue team are working brilliantly together. There's an I energy there that. that almost looks like it's been done so many times before. Because they're partners. And they respect like partners. Yeah. But more importantly, they have that synergy. They sort of understand each other's strengths and weaknesses, and they're playing off it. What do you think as far as presentation? What do you think on that one? We'll have that avocado, then I'll put the layer of fennel, then we'll do the corn crab in the middle of that. OK. <sighs> 10 minutes to go. GG. I'm going to have to exonate the corn sauce. What happened? Christian's corn sauce was supposed to be the sauce for the duck. It's not coming together. All right, Christian, why don't you slice the duck and uh, do the funnel, and then I'll make a pan sauce quickly. Now I have to make a pan sauce in the last 10 minutes. Oh, no, boo-hoo. She, 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 she wouldn't mushrooms anyway. Talk to me quickly about the sauce, because I've got no idea what you're doing. It's going to be a quick pan sauce, actually. If you're going to make a sauce with the duck, use the 90 minutes. Yeah, I agree with you. We were actually going to do, like, this corn sauce, but it completely broke, should've, so. Could have, would have. It's, it's developing in flavor, chef. Eight minutes to go. Developing flavor. The judges are minutes from arriving. Hopefully we can get this pan sauce on the plate before these international judges get here. Otherwise, we're screwed. Seven yeah. minutes to go. Hey! As our four remaining home cooks compete in their final team challenge. The judges are minutes from arriving. Three international you never, you never know, you never know. judges are about to arrive for the most intense tasting yet. Come on. Five minutes to go. Susie, talk to me quickly about the sauce. It's going to be a, a quick pan sauce, actually. A pan sauce? Make a sauce with the duck. Use the 90 minutes. Chef Ramsay is doubting this pan sauce. So nice, I'm second nice guessing myself thing, right dude. now, which sucks. Yeah, but no idea what you're doing. Our international judges are just touching down now. Come on there. France, Sebastian. India. The Moran, I mean, legendary food critic. He's not just a food critic, he's French. Right. He's French. So double double, power. double win. Anyway, it's a yeah. double whammy. Mikhail Ansky, a famed food writer from Israel. First woman to ever open a farmer's market in Israel. She's like a food walking Bible, right. this lady. I mean, extraordinary. And Kunal who? Kapoor, famed across India. India, He's knew it. Nominated for chef Called of the year it. in India. These guys have oh, never wow, been under man. this kind of scrutiny. Last minute. Get prepared to serve our international panel of master chef judges. 30 seconds to go. Come on, finish your sentence. Uh, I don't our really international watch. master chef judges are in the master chef restaurant waiting. 15 seconds to go. Come on. I need prawns right here. Yeah, that looks nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and stop. Woo! Holy uh, 
I'm gonna be honest. Christian and Susie's plate looks like 1977. That's all I can say. It just looks old. <laughs> Maybe Adrian and Jennifer did a really good job doing like the same ingredients that they've done a thousand times before. But There's I know both of them judges. can do a lot better. Oh wow! This okay, probably dude. is one of my dude. proudest dishes since I've been here at Master Chef. Dude, oh, God, like, look at that. <laughs> look at the presentation. First to face the international MasterChef judges is the red team, Susie and Christian. I'd like you to meet our very, very special guest today. Dude, it's sitting on like some avocado corn bed or I'm something. I'm Kapoor, and I happen to be the judge at the MasterChef India. My name is Sebastien Dumoran. I'm a judge on MasterChef France. Okay, nice. Shalom, red team. My name is Michal Ansky, and I happen to be a judge on MasterChef as well. Red well, team. She's charming them. Our fellow judges have traveled thousands of miles to get here. I think they're ready to hear what you oh have, so can you please explain? God. Today we have a play on Thanksgiving. We wanted to do an upscale version, so instead of using turkey, we use duck. Instead of using regular mashed potatoes, we use sweet potatoes. We have a raspberry coulis and some caramelized fennel. Before I begin, I'd like to ask you, why Thanksgiving? For me, when it comes to Thanksgiving, uh -oh. you're with your loved ones, and I think it's very much of American culture. Is there Thanksgiving in... in, in I think the flavors are nice, but what really works is the sauce that you've done with it. Really? Actually, I kind of disagree with my fellow judge Kunal. I didn't like the sauce very much. I felt sensation of like a flowery sensation when I tasted it. What I did like is the mash. It's sweet, it's comforting. It goes well with the duck, which is well executed. You okay. can cook duck, definitely. I like the skin, crispy, just like it should be little bit spicy somewhere. You like, I you think like that? the issue for me what? is that although the individual components are fine, for you to bring this to these people that we brought from all over the world to be here is a little bit disrespectful. Christian, is everything all right? You look um, kind of pale. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's complex enough. Um, I think we should have used lobster. What hey, is he doing? Hey, hey, hey come on. What our is own it? team under the bus. You're wiping your hands of guilt. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, what is going I'm, on? I'm, I'm just as embarrassed by the dish as you are. Your embarrassment should have manifested itself in intervention at the time when you could have made a difference. You guys weren't communicating, and I think the dissonance in your relationship manifests itself in See, the plate because I don't taste harmony here. That strat worse when like they're like top 12, top 14 or whatever, but now they're, they're, they're top four and there's only... They, I taste you a can't couple hide, of though. pretty well cooked ingredients and a this, lot this of... This is something used to work in the other episodes. It doesn't work here, dude. No shot. I look up and Gordon's like this. Excuse and I felt like I like had just let my dad down or something. You know what I mean? I wanted to run. If there, if there was a exit door somewhere, I would have ran away. Can I get a welcome to the jungle? Oh, okay. I'm gonna throw the The puree worked. I mean, the puree was nice. But I honestly thought they'd be putting more than three things on the plate after 90 minutes. But the duck was well cooked. Oh, he loved the duck. Told you Thanksgiving was a bad idea, Susie. It's not that, though, Christian. It's our execution that sucked. Susie's still trying to defend Thanksgiving dinner to me, and I'm not having it. At that point, I'm, I'm pissed at her. I'm pissed at myself. It was humiliating. Should have never listened to you, Susie. Christian's getting super defensive, and it's embarrassing for him, to be quite honest, because it's not he's making himself look like an idiot. Wait, how? Learned. I'm not trying to learn lessons. I'm trying to win. Ooh, Top base then. Should have made a better dish than that. Whatever. Okay. Three international MasterChef judges have come to America to taste what our final four have to offer. Susie and Christian served up a Thanksgiving. Yeah, we know that. We, yeah, we, I mean, we watched it, literally. We didn't like this. Quite frankly. <sighs> Lesson learned. I'm not trying to learn lessons. I'm trying to win. <laughs> Top four. Should have made a better dish than that. Whatever. 
The final team to face the oh, judges is the shit. blue team. They're gonna Jennifer pop off. It's over, Avery. dude. Why don't you tell us about your dish? Us as Americans, what we want to show you is that we have a lot of international influence here. The star of the show is a spot water prawns. We have a coulis on the bottom that's a blood orange, roasted red pepper infused with chipotle and ginger. I took the backside of the lobster, and on the bottom, we have our avocado. Why did you choose to, you know, chop that lobster and mix it with everything, you know, with the corn, avocado? We didn't want it to be the star of the dish. It is a star. Ooh. Show it. Least based Frenchman. Everything is a little bit mushy. Yeah, it yes. lacks texture for me. And the sauce a little bit reminded me of ketchup with water. And it lacked a heat. It's the semi-final. Give me some oomph. Yeah, Honestly, she was the oomph. One of the two ingredients, prawn or lobster. The second prawn that I had Rock. has not been cleaned. You need to clean out the vein before you serve it, oh! and before you cook it. That's very, very important. I uh, actually have the same issue. My prawn here is not clean. Forgetting to clean the prawns is a huge error. To lose the challenge on the back of not cleaning out a prawn would kill prawn me. Prawn popo! I can almost see your vision of this dish, but you guys got a little bit lost in the execution. What I did see out there across 90 Minutes was a phenomenal team spirit, because you both pushed each other, and there's a breath of fresh air. We're sorry that it fell short of perfection, but thank you Literally for the constructive criticism. Actual Blue team. Pooper. Thank you very much indeed. Thank International thank judges. We had some major, like, detail oversights. How did I forget to clean the freaking prawns, dude? But we're still in the game. Well done, man. The red team, they had an idea, Thanksgiving, which is 100% American, of course. The mashed potato was okay, and the duck was well cooked. As far as the blues are concerned, prawn, beautiful, beautiful prawns, even slightly undercooked. That was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavor. You know what, blue team, I really, really enjoyed what they had cooked. I mean, it was inviting. They've experimented. You know, they've got their cultures in there. So I, I quite like the texture. I quite like the flavors. Excellent. Experimenting okay, with shit. Couldn't understand the takeoff or the playoff on the Thanksgiving dinner, though judging the dish by taste, the duck was well executed. Thank you for the most amazing feedback. Let's go and let them know, shall we? OK, at this point in the competition, with only four contestants left, it all comes down to attention to detail. The judges love the duck, so I consider this a win. We had some errors, but I know that our flavors were on. No, they were not. Sebastian. Mushy. Guys, first thing, thank you. Okay. All six of us really enjoyed what you prepared for us. We voted, and we have a unanimous decision. Oh, unanimous. Oh, no. The winner of this challenge Reddit. The blue team. No! What? What the actually rigged? Oh, congratulations. What? Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to dance around. It Be was quiet. That ultimate battle. Heart versus technical. And we won. Oh my god. Thank you. Well done. It really sucks because Christian and I have so much technique, but Christian's ego is always gonna Okay, okay, mushy vegetables at the bottom, uninspired uh, sauce that, that was like ketchup and water, and uncleaned shit prawns. Get and the they win? The kitchen. Fuck you, so, man. Blue team, congratulations. Judges, thank you so much. Thank you so Best much. Best wish, safe trip back. Yep. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, the blue team have now catapulted themselves into the final three. Red team, the two of you will go head-to-head -head in the ultimate pressure. pressure test. I don't want to face the pressure test, obviously. I would have liked to have been catapulted right but into the top give three. Give us some tasting tests. that didn't tests. happen today, so I'm going to have to kick Susie's ass. 
I'm planning to win the title of Master Chef, and having Christian in my way is just another hurdle to cross, and I'm taking him out of it. Christian's going down, he's out of here. Blue team, okay, congratulations. Thank you. Red team, start panicking. Whatever, dude. Right, what, what is it? Don't cook. Give us, give us a taste test. Come on. As the losers of the team challenge, Christian and Susie must now face a pressure test, after which one of them will be going home. Susie keeps saying she wants to go head to head with me, and she's getting her wish. I'm pumped up. I'm going to take Susie out in the pressure test, and then we'll be rid of her. Usually when people are walking into a pressure test, they feel pretty lousy. For me, I'm excited. I've been wanting what? to go face to face with Christian for a really long time. I think I could totally beat it. What are you saying? Lousy? Blue team! Both of you can breathe a sigh of relief. You're in the final three. <laughs> in just over 90 minutes from now, somebody's leaving Master Chef. Adrian, who do you think it is based on what you know? I think um Susie. Um, Susie would be going home. Thanks. Jennifer, who do you think will be leaving MasterChef? Christian. Christian. Just, yeah. He lacks sometimes that creativity and the true deep passion within him for cooking. Okay, come on. Right, blue team. Start marching up those stairs and uh, watch with cool, great anticipation. I am excited to see this battle go on. I want Susie to win nice because lipstick. Christian's a competitor. The fucking clown. And it would be nice to see him eat a little bit of uh, humble pie. Nice fucking lipstick, Christian woman. Susie, the theme of today's pressure test is the most amazing, the most sumptuous, stunning, beautiful. What? Guys, guys, what was all that? Lemon. Meringue pie. Yes, it's desserts. I love it. I'm kind of like say the ladies, pastry gal. I'm gonna say guys. I'm gonna say men. So it's bring it, what me? bring it on. Of course, they give me a <laughs> pie to make <laughs> in the pressure test. <sighs> I thought we were done with desserts. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. It's made up of three parts: a delicious crust, zesty curd and then a wonderful meringue. Susie, you've baked a lot in this competition. Feeling confident? I, I feel good. I'm, I'm gonna she's, put a lot of love done, and care boys. into this pie and make it taste delicious guys, for you guys. Guys, it is done. Feeling confident, Christian? Absolutely. Even though you don't bake? Absolutely. Wow. Is that confidence or just a bravado with arrogance? Um, I'm confident Susie's gonna make her last dish here. Okay. Thank you. Both of you. Please take your stations. Come on, Christian. Come on, Christian. Come on, Christian. He's got this. He's got this. He's got this. Carefully. Christian is gonna fucking minutes, slam mate, it the most out of the park. Lemon meringue Come pie. On. Just make sure, for both of you, it's the best pie you've ever baked. Your 90 minutes starts from no. now. To make a lemon meringue pie, Susie and Christian must focus on three primary components: the crust, the filling. And the meringue. Never oh. have I ever made a lemon meringue pie before. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to go home, but uh, that's not going to happen. So this is going home today. 15 minutes gone. Of course, the guy who can bake fucking to go. seafood, the seafood master, she brings him on to making following each other. some duck for the final. Gets his then Susie she gets, gets a lucky baking exercise for further tests. So, uh, so fucking lame. Very, very close. Yeah, but this can be down so to the technical ability. So that pastry has to be cooked. It cannot afford to be undercooked. Because mm -hmm. that curd hits it and it's undercooked, the whole thing turns soggy. Yeah, next is the curd. Super amazing. Love the, the balance between sweet and sour. Yeah, it's totally the heart of the pie. Just over 25 minutes gone. Right, Christian, how is your pie going to be different to Susie's? My better. crust is going to be perfect. Uh, it's going to taste better, and uh, my meringue is going to be on, on the spot. It's going to be put together with finesse and love, and it's going to secure me a spot in the top three. Why do you carry so much baggage on your shoulders? Why is that? Is that you in general? Um, I've had a pretty tough, uh, pretty tough life, so you know, sometimes it comes up. You, I'm going to show you today that uh, I came to win. Good luck. All right, pal. You can do it, man. Hey, Joe, how's it going? It's right. good. Yeah.
think that's good enough? You like the consistency of it? You like yeah, it? Yeah, I think it's gonna hold in consistency, yeah. You were always kind of the pastry gal. Yeah. What happens if you get your walking papers on a pastry challenge? It would be kind of ironic, wouldn't it? It would be super ironic. Just over 30 minutes to go, guys. You sure? So much on the line now, guys. All about the details. Success in the details. Just three more people to go before you guys can crown me. Susie, just stay focused. Stay on your game. I think the dark horse in this one is Christian. Because yeah, yeah. He hasn't peaked yet with any form of pastry, and I think he is just focused so heavily on getting this rise. My money's on Christian. Oh, okay. I think Susie has that, is... that pastry understanding, and she might just keep it simple and make a nice, stunning lemon rank pie, so I'm, I'm thinking that she's going to have the advantage here. I think that Christian has the fire in his belly. He wants this really bad. It's going to be interesting. Joel, Joel relates to Christian. Joel relates to the stigma. The air in the room is heavy right now. I just think back to the battles that I've had to win to, to make it to this point. I really can see episode. myself as the next master chef because I don't have an ego and I'm a way better cook than Christian. 20 seconds to go. I'm looking at Susie's pie and I'm thinking. It's kind of ugly. Sayonara. <laughs> That's not inspiring it at all. Looks kind of like. Yeah, it's kind of dog shit. It's pretty dog shit. Nine, eight. Come on, Christian, it's yours, man. It's going to be better, six, right? Surely. Five. Four, three, right question, two, one, and stop. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Can we see it? Three, two, one, and stop. Good job. Please. Very carefully, bring it up to the table. Thank you. It is better. It's taste test in time. Um, I'm feeling good. It has a nice a piece of pie, roasted crust on top of those pies. I'm pretty sure you'd pick my pie. Hers is raw. Fuck all that. Right, Susie. Let's go, please. My pie doesn't look very pretty, but I've been tasting my lemon curd the entire time, so I know that my flavor is definitely there. Did you purposely put little egg white on top in terms of the meringue? Um, I think this is a lemon meringue pie. I wanted to have consistency in even amounts of lemon and meringue. Happy with it? I actually, I do like the flavor in the lemon curd. I think that's really good as well as the meringue. How about you lemon taste it, huh? Always a great way of seeing how the pastry's cooked in terms of the transparency. And normally where it's appearing damp and there's wet patches underneath it. Undercooked? It's almost like it's undercooked. Hey, lady, hey, lady. There's no firmness underneath there. The nope. pastry's soft just by the tip of my knife. I can feel the it. Life is just going straight through it. Damn. Dog shit. Is it, is it gonna break apart? It looks delicious. Delicious. Thank you, chef. Fucking shit. And it looks bullshit. a lot more appetizing Fuck. out of the pie dish than it does in. Yeah. Love the color of the lemon curd. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. The curd is wonderful because it's it pops and it's got that wow factor. What I'm missing is my meringue. Yeah. The curd is the easy part. More meringue, please. Yeah, sure. Too late. Hey, this is easy. Too late. Hey, Christian, show, show Susie, how it's done. What did meringue ever do to you? Pastry a little, little thin and yeah. kind of spotty in parts, right? You need a little bit of a little bit of crunch here. You need some texture up in there, man. I wish that there was more meringue. The dough does seem to be a little inconsistent. But the flavor's great. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey come on, come on. Who cares the, the, the taste? Oh, woo -woo -woo. It was a little drippy. It's dripping. Ooh. Come on, Joe. Tell her. Tell her shut up, man. I Go. actually like the flavor of the crust, although it's a little bit unevenly executed. Your meringue, it's raw. There's not enough of it. Kind of flavorless, too. 
too bad, because well, I, I love a good meringue. Well Thank said, you. Joe. Thank you. Now, Christian, let's check it out. Chris, and let's see it. I'm a little nervous. Susie obviously has more baking under her belt than I do. I'm kind of my pants a little bit, because that's not my forte. But I have technique, I have skill, and finesse. So I'm going to rock it out. The meringue, Ooh, nice and even. Spinner. I like the swiping action that you did here instead of the peaks. Looks a little more refined. Yeah, yeah. Press Susie, nice look at that. Look at But it looks very uneven. Hey, what? Um, sorry, what? It's crunch. There's some crunch. Nice structure. Nice ratio. What's the 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 ratio is good. Doesn't hey. look like a smooth, creamy texture. Shut looks up, like bitch. Egg whites. It's fine. The ring almost looks separated. What? It's fine. Curd is nice. I like the crust, but it looks like it's just broken. This is your first time you've ever made a lemon rang pie. Yes, it is. Beautiful color. Great ratio. Nice crust. Good crunch. Of meringue. It's a really bizarre texture. Though. Have a taste of that. Oh. Kind of airy. Kind of airy. So light and broken. You see how it just disintegrates. It's not taking the sugar at all. It's a delicious pastry, but you've been let down badly with the incorporation of the sugar across the meringue. It's a good looking pie. Kind of holds together nicely. Yeah, it good does. Structure. Yes, it does. You ever think your first pie would be so monumental? No. The pastry is delicious. It has good consistency. The curds rich but lemony. The meringue itself doesn't really add anything to the pie. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, no problem, Joe. You got it. Come on. Go. Christian's looks better than her taste. And then Susie's. Oh, taste dude! Yeah, it does taste he doesn't better. he doesn't bake a lot. It's not I fair. I could possibly go on to the final steps of winning two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or lose it all in the next sixty seconds. That's what they want. That's the thing. Yeah. Christian, Christian, Christian. Look, Susie. That. You're gonna lose it. That's so rude. I want Susie to win because I want Christian to understand what it's like to have somebody put him into the ground with Guys, the dessert. The, the crust, the most important part. Test. Both of yours it were holds. not perfect. And one of you is going to be leaving MasterChef. Is it the stay at home dad that's obsessed with fish that's not really comfortable cooking desserts? Or is it the Neural engineer that is so meticulous with amazing attention to detail. Standing there waiting to, to see if I'm going home is, you know, it's like, it's nerve wracking. I totally don't want to go home right now. I've got the passion, I've got the drive, and I just want to keep cooking here in the MasterChef kitchen. For one of you, it's the last time in the MasterChef kitchen. And for the other, you're a semi finalist. Susie. Susie, you're gonna lose it. No, it's just... Yes, chef. Be quiet. No, night's over. He's gonna, he's gonna do a bait. He's gonna do a bait. It's over. It's over. He's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Fuck! The last time. He's doing a bait. He's doing a bait. Kitchen. It's done. And for the other, you're a semi-finalist. I see myself before the judges as the next master chef, and I see Christian next to me as just this pompous, arrogant or guy double, who double bait. deserved to have left a long time ago. Susie, double chef. bait. You're not going through to the semi-final. <sighs> the time is done. Yes! Yes. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, can I shake your hand? <laughs> Thank you so much for this Thank opportunity. Thank you, Susie. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Love hands. Love hands. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Great highs. Uh -huh. Great lows. Amazing. Tenacious. Talented cook you are. And always with a smile. Every time. And you know what? You've been amazing. 
don't stop that burning desire. Thank Get you back to Chicago. <laughs> Get that food truck. Yeah. And I'll be one of your customers. Okay, well done. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. The big question is, who's going to win MasterChef? Adrian, she's going to say. Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> The common denominator. He's got the skill, but he doesn't have the arrogance. It's going to stop him from winning. Adrian's going to win it. She's arrogant. She doesn't have the balls to put it out there and be confrontational about it. She's being a little bitch. Well, when she, thank you. When, but thank she's you. arrogant. Thank you. Bye bye. Make sure you well, stop by and work with us in the kitchen, huh? <laughs> Good job, Susie. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'm so proud of the journey that I've had. I've suffered through things and I've had so many highs. <laughs> and so many lows, but I don't think I've been as happy as I have been in the Master Chef kitchen in my entire life. And I am done being an engineer. Susie. <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to be in my life. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to cook. Thank you for validating what I'm supposed to do with my life. I'm so grateful. Take care, darling. Oh my God. Some of the character traits ma make her a character I enjoy less. Oh my God, it's a woman. That means I hate women. Oh yeah, and of course, of course. Hey, it sucks to go home, but everybody's gonna have to go home except me at some point. Only one person can win MasterChef. Yes, you won. Granted, many congratulations, but my God, it wasn't perfect. I'm the last girl standing. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Okay. One, two, three of you left. You are so close. I cannot tell you. Now it's like real game on, you know? I think it's the three strongest cooks of this entire competition, and it's got to be perfect. It's got to be better than them. I can feel the tension now. I want this so bad. Top three, it's like. Who's a woman right I like there. on the show? I like Alejandro. You are looking at the next Master Chef. One else, Chris. Alejandro was Who's good. Master Chef? Tracy was pretty good. I like Tracy. Let's go. New crown, baby. <laughs> Big day tomorrow. Get some rest. Good night. Woo! Top three. Next.